Bondi and I am here to show you how to achieve this look using my new palette from uh, the Butterfly Effect collection. It's the Monarch palette and the color spectrum in this palette itself is very versatile so you can go as extreme as you want or you can do something a little more mellow but you know me I like to do stuff a little bit more on the extreme side so hopefully you guys have fun doing this uh, alongside with me. Of course, I'm going to use a little bit of eyeshadow primer. I'm going to just gently pat a little bit of the high voltage primer onto the lid, and this is gonna ensure that the color is bright and bold all the way to the bottom of the brow, and then I always add just a tad bit on the lower lid. Once you're done with the eyeshadow primer, uh, it's time to move on to the actual eyeshadow, and I'm gonna use this color right here. Um, it's called Tiny Death. I love it. It's it's this really like soft nude color, but it has a tiny bit of sparkle in it. And using a little flat brush, go ahead and pat it right under the brow line. And now we can move on to the prominent color. I, I've named it Wrath. And using a typical blending brush, starting from the corner of the eye towards the inside. But because I'm gonna be putting this gold color here, I wanna leave the center part of the lip semi-open for that. You know, a good trick to make my eyes look a little bit larger, I'm gonna take this orange shade and just, you know, elongate it towards my temple. So I'm gonna go back to Tiny Death and just blend out that orange color just a little bit just to make sure it's all smooth. I'm gonna go to that black concealer brush and there's this really neat gold shade. I've named it Summerfly. I'm just going to pat a good amount of um, this glittery gold color in the center top of the lid. The most amazing color, like my personal favorite in this palette, the darkest chocolate brown that you'll ever find and it kind of just gives you that soft texture that you would see like on the body of a moth. For this particular look, I'm going to use you know, a, a more of a precise like smudge brush like this and using Deadhead, that dark chocolate brown, just go ahead and put a tad bit on this corner. And, you know, to the best of my abilities, I'm going to blend it out, but before I get ahead of myself, I'm going to go back to that blending brush. Swipe it around and blend it a little bit, just soften the edges. Once I've blended that out, I'm going to take a precise blending brush and I'm going to use this nice little coppery shade here that I've named Papilio and blending the gold and the black into each other. And now we're gonna do kind of a similar thing but just for the bottom part. I'm gonna use this flat smudge brush just to kind of get into those little tight corners and make sure that I'm able to achieve the same gradation that I have on the top of the lid on the bottom. So starting with Wrath, that nice orange color, I'm going to press it lightly onto the bottom of the lid. I'm going to stop it right about like the center of my eye because that is where I'm going to introduce that gold color. I'm going to sweep this color all the way to the corner of my eye. See how easy those two blend? It's so nice. Then I'm going to go back to Deadhead and join that section. So now that I have you know, laid down this groundwork, I'm gonna take another clean brush and just make sure that I've achieved a really smooth look overall. So I'm gonna move on to eyeliner now. I'm gonna use Puramor, which is my favorite black, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit on the inner lid, and this definitely will bring a lot of contrast to that gold color especially. Sometimes I like to put it on the underside of the top lid. I'm gonna move on to some liquid eyeliner using Trooper. I usually go like from super thin line and then just thicken it out towards the outside of the eye. I'm gonna do a nice, good old classic cat eye. And it's obviously up to you if you wanna wear false lashes or not. I, I personally like to and I think as far as this look goes, uh, wearing a nice pair of lashes is gonna really help with opening up the eye and elongating that look. And now I'm going to use a little bit of mascara to join and fuse you know, my lashes to these falsies, and then just a little bit at the bottom. So I think to complete this look, I personally chose a combination of these two colors, Vampira and Underage Red. I'm actually gonna just use a little bit of a, a lip brush and using the darker color Vampira, which is one of my favorites, just kind of gently sweep the outer corners towards the inside, dabbing a little bit on the same brush, some in the center of the lip, and then again on the top. And cool, there you have it. I hope you guys had a lot of fun and can't wait to see what you guys come up with. <laughs>